So do not forget the cabin stream is tonight for you guys. The cabin stream is tonight. Click the link in the description. Join us on kick for the off grid baller cabin marathon. It's going to be awesome. Welcome to the channel, everybody. Definitely out here enjoying these last couple of nice days. I am in a t-shirt in November. So today, hopefully later on, I am going to pick up a new phone that I will be using for streaming. My daily phone will always be an iPhone. Big shout out to Steve Wallace. I'm not even gonna lie, I am straight ripping him. He's like the OG stealth camp guy, roundabout stealth camping, car stealth camping. So big shout out to him for inspiring me to attempt this style of content. I'm pretty excited to do it. 10,500 steps. All right, so here we go. We are officially on the road going to pick up this Galaxy S22 Ultra. This dude wanted to meet at the bar of Longhorn Steakhouse. Kind of awkward, but kind of lit. Let's check this thing out real quick. This is my first like serious, actual, real Galaxy S22 Ultra pretty clean i'm actually very satisfied with this purchase look at that dude that's the magic right there all right this might be my last chance to drive the land cruiser so i'm gonna take it so apparently chris ruddy is on a selling spree this is the first time using the galaxy to like film a vlog so gotcha. Yeah, Ruddy's selling the Land Cruiser, the Jenny, sold the red Miata, the Z is for sale, so that's four cars. Right now, me and Chris's cousin Matt are going to take like stance pictures of the Land Cruiser to post for sale today, because y'all already know he is still in Japan. So we gotta list all these cars before he gets back so that I think he's hoping to get back and have a hundred grand cash in his hand. I think that's what he's looking for here. So we're going to help him. Wait, should I get out? Nah, Is it awkward that I'm in the for sale ad? No. You want to be in it? Or nah, let me get out. Let me get out. Here, we'll just, again, there's enough room. These people will be able to go around me. The old cruiser with the tent on it as well. It looks good. If you guys end up seeing this video before it sells, obviously DM Chris, DM me if you're dead serious about buying this. How much does he want, did he say? Uh, 22. This 22? Yeah. So y'all already know, beat him up a little bit, offer him like 19, he might say yes. <laughs> yeah. Money for this guy's a lying sack of shit. Yeah. He, for his friend to get mad, he would have more money. Well, thank you for the taxi service. Dude, we're got, trying to get these new lug nuts. Yeah, these nuts. My nuts oh, are nice and shiny oh, now. Yeah. Shiny nuts. And, and they're smooth and not jagged. And nice. one piece. No, no more Peroni's disease. I guess O'Reilly's only had eight and he stripped them out on both of the rear wheels. So now he's got to come to AutoZone and buy two more. Grillo, dude. Ruining his own daily. How much do they whack you for these two? Uh, 5.39 a shot. So this will be my last meal before the stealth camping attempt. Cooking up three steaks right there. We got Grillo outside. Definitely crazy. Looks good. All right, getting the bed set up now at the shop. It's getting a little bit late, as you can see. I'm getting a little bit tired, so I'm going to try to assemble the bed here and then try to go find a stealth camping spot. So for the first layer, I have just like this play mat thing. It's like kind of padded. That'll be a nice little first layer. Then I got this nice thick blanket. This is also folded in half. So this is like the mattress, so to speak. I have these two blankets. I might be able to get away with a third layer, like a third bottom. Yeah, that's looking kind of legit, dude. This is looking like a nice little stealth camping setup. 
So obviously if you're really going to be stealth camping, usually you climb in through the front seat, so we'll have to practice that. Oh, this ain't bad at all. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This is nice. Uh, well, you definitely could easily stealth camp in this thing. The, the room is great. Well, we have to go actually set this up like in a parking lot. And we have to check, is it comfortable with this door shut? But other than that, I feel like I could lay down and be stretched out. The three layer method's nice. Like my hip doesn't dig into the base here or whatever. So a couple blankets, little outdoor play mat thing, good to go. Didn't have to buy anything. Best budget stealth camping, no build. See what it's like if you pull up like straight up downtown, park like in public, like how bad really is that? All right, this is about as downtown as it actually gets here, directly across the street from Co Park. So it's looking good out in the streets. So I don't know how the lighting's gonna look. I don't wanna leave all these lights on because now we are um, officially trying to be stealth. I have all the lights off, the vehicle is running. But let's go ahead and try to climb into the back from the front seat. This should be interesting. All right, I'm gonna go just straight for the dive. I'm getting, I'm on my knees. All right, now I'm slithering into the back. Okay. I am now in the back. All right, we are technically officially stealth camping. Downtown, head down, like obviously I'm trying to get this part on tape here, but if I held the camera low like that and I stopped talking, I don't, unless you walk directly up to the vehicle and look into the window, but like to cars passing by that aren't looking into the windows, it looks like it's just a parked car overnight. All right, classic Lowe's. We're gonna go ahead and check out the back of Lowe's here. See if there's any good stealth camping opportunity behind the Lowe's maybe. Out front here doesn't look too bad either. It looks pretty, pretty dead for the night. Oh yeah, there's a bunch of semis back here. This is perfect. Look at that. So this is how it looks. It's pretty low key. This is actually on as well. The key is on, the vehicle is technically running and it is providing climate control to the inside of the cabin while I sleep. So once in a while the gas engine will turn on for a little bit. It seems pretty low key to me. I'm gonna try to hop in the back again here. All right, this is it, straight up behind Lowe's, stealth camping. Just doing a little practice, I kinda wanna do a shroom stream on kick. So I'm looking to do a nice long road trip. I'm trying to just see how feasible is this whole stealth camping thing to like get where we're going kind of deal. It's really, it's actually, it's quite doable. It really is quite doable other than the fact that I'm trying to vlog this well, that's really all I have for you guys in this video. This is my first little taste into the stealth camping scene. I'm really just doing this to prepare for a road trip, see if it's comfortable. Should I invest in a thicker mat, better pillows? You know, this is like a nice little trial here. So do not forget the cabin stream is tonight for you guys. The cabin stream is tonight. Click the link in the description. Join us on kick for the off-grid baller cabin marathon. It's gonna be awesome. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If this does kinda good, I will definitely try to document an actual stealth camping trip, some overland trip. I'll try to do something cool like that, but yeah, that's all I got for now. Be sure to join us on kick tonight, guys.